All right, friends, it gives me immense pleasure to tell you that our first session today is on lessons to learn from MS Dhoni. Friends, we all love cricket and we love MS Dhoni. But what can we learn from MS Dhoni? Sunil Subramaniam, CEO Sundaram Mutual Fund, shares with us how Dhoni's career and style are relevant for the advisors. Sunil has completed an MSc from IIT Madras and did his MBA from Open University Business School, London. He is a CAIIB with diplomas in business finance and certified treasury manager course from ICFAI Hyderabad. He is also a certified risk management professional from AEB USA. Let us welcome our first speaker with a big round of applause. A very good morning. Good morning. Uh, believe me, I did not choose this topic. <laughs> but it was a topic I welcomed because naturally, yes, I am a fan of uh, MS. And also uh, admission here, I think I have learnt a lot from him in my life when I have applied some of the things I have learnt. So what I speak comes from the heart. Okay. That being said, first disclosure is that I am trying to keep the cricket down to the minimum. Right, and I'm going to try and make this relevant to the IFA community. Second part of it, coincidentally, there are 11 lessons, like there are 11 players in the cricket field, right? So to commence this thing, so let's start with the first lesson we learn from him. So what is MSD all about? He's probably the first small town boy to become the most successful captain in Indian cricket history, right? So what, what is this his whole life journey of his? What does it mean for us? I think the key lesson, if you want to reach Mars, it doesn't matter where on earth you launch your rocket from. OK? So from an IFA perspective, the relevance of this, whether you're from Ranchi or from Trichy, you can become the most successful IFA in India. Nothing should hold you back. <laughs> the, the second lesson moving on, from his life, I've tried to keep this chronological in terms of his early life and his later uh, career. So the first, second lesson that I'd like to take for y'all is play to your strengths, right? What do I mean by this? We all know what's his strength, big hitting what is strength. So can I have the first video, please? That is big, length within reach of Tony. 15 runs to win. Nine required on four. Goal. Expecting the Yorkers. <laughs> Magnificent. Magnificent Mahindra. The Yorkers. And he's gone down the ground. One. I think it's Watson massive. He has cleared it. That is a phenomenal. it is oh no he's out it's a no ball though they're coming back for two it's all happening at the Adelaide o. it was a fuss turns it round there's going to be two it might even be four Dave Ward is chasing after it so what is the key here first thing just to understand from this the first thing is that he took the match to the last over they could have won the match in earlier overs if he had taken risks. But if he had taken risks, in one of them, you notice it was nine wickets down. Right? So what he did, he gave all the other players a chance to try to win the match till the last over, and then he took it upon himself. And in the last over, he played to his two strengths. I mentioned one here, which is big hitting. The second is keep cool and calm. We'll come to that later. But from an IFA's life perspective, what's the relevance? All of you. You should learn to back your strengths, whether it's relationships with the customer, whether it's market knowledge, whether it's financial planning, or it's asset allocation. Right? Back yourself, keep your strengths going, success will follow. Right? The next lesson is courage of conviction. 
What do I mean here? Again, before I play the video, the biggest stage, right? Conviction comes only when you are at risk, right? What's the two biggest stages? 2007 World T20 Final. What did he do? He backed a totally unknown player, Joginder Sharma. And bear in mind that after this, Joginder Sharma disappeared from the face of cricket earth. <laughs> right? The second one, backing yourself, is in the 2011 World Cup Final. Okay? That, I'll allow you to see the video and understand. I will explain later. May I have the video, please? Excuse me, Harry. Yeah? If a wicket What's goes this? down, I think I should go in. But uh, Yubi is padded up and ready. No, it's Murli. I think I should go in. You sure? Yeah. Just in. It's a stunning catch. Kohli has to depart. Yuvraj Singh has to wait. The skipper rolls up his sleeves and makes his way out to the center. Mahendra Singh Dhoni. So, the second one is the one that is more important here. Right? In courage of conviction. You know what happened in the World Cup final, right? Yuvraj was to come as per the normal batting order. Yuvraj, let me remind you, was the man of the series. Bowling, batting. Why I'm talking about courage of conviction is that he promoted himself at that minute, went to Gary Kirsten in that movie, you see. He told him, I'm going. He said, no, UV is padded up. No, it's Murli. Because Murli played for CSK. Murli was an off-spinner. He could back his strengths to hit through the line. So the point is that, look at it, why do I say courage of conviction? If either of those had failed, right, he would have been history. He would have lost his captaincy, take it from me. Why? Ajit Wadekar. 1971, he beat England in England, West Indies in West Indies. 1974, he went and lost to England 3-0. Next day, he lost his captaincy. There is no memory in people's mind. So the point is, when the stage is big, when the crunch is there, you got to have courage of conviction. And from an IFA's life, what is this? Once you've done the homework, you've identified the correct MF schemes, have the courage to stick to your conviction. Right? What do I mean? Is turning that customer's portfolio justified? Think, think, think before you act. Because when you recommended a scheme, you had done your homework. Right? So have the courage to stay convicted even though the fund may underperform for a short period or market conditions may turn adverse. Right? The next lesson, clarity of thought. Right? What do I mean by this? Again, a video can I have? You will all understand this video. I think it's self-explanatory, but I will touch upon it. If we win, we have to tough calls. I am taking a tough call today as a captain. And I want you, sirs, to take an important call as selectives who want the betterment of Indian cricket. What is MS? Sir, three players are not fit in the ODI team. They are very slow as fielders, sir, and the format needs fitter players. Age issue not sir. Fitness is. But MS, they are still very good as batsmen. No doubt, nahi hai, sir. But we can't fielding ki wajay se hum opposition ko choke their opposition. I am a sportsman, I can understand they don't want to give up, but the fact of the matter is, we just can't have them in the team. Sir, a bowler will take a wicket, a good batsman will make a run in any match, or will make a run in any match, but a good fielder will make a run in every match, sir. But in MS, there are only three years in the World Cup. Sir, in the World Cup, there are only three years in the World Cup. We have to let these three go. At least for this tour and then decide. This will have large-scale implications. This is a huge servant to India. This will have large-scale implications. This is a huge servant of Indian cricket. Precisely, sir. We are all servants and we are all doing national duty. I know that you will feel bad for both of us. The media is going to burn us. It will feel bad for people. But if we are right, sir, and we achieve results in the future, then people will understand that what we were doing, what we were doing. Sir, the Indian cricket team So, did you figure out who those three players were? All of us know, right? Dada, Saurav, Rahul Dravid, and VVS Lakshman. No, Sevak played. VVS Lakshman. So, that's why I said they're all very good cricketers, icons, 
But what did he say? This was just three years before the 2011 World Cup. In 2008, the CB series in Australia. Take the guts, he had the clarity of thought that if in the one day format you have to win, fielding is the key. And like he said, a fielder will save 30 runs every match. A batsman may score, sometimes not score. That clarity of thought and the courage of conviction comes through it. Is what? And ultimately made him succeed. So from your IFA's life, what is this? Once you have defined the financial goals with the customer and you co-create the financial plan with complete clarity of thought. Right? That is, I think, absolutely clear because then in tough times is where that clarity will come to your aid and you will ultimately be a winner with your client's portfolio. Right? Next. I just don't want to say only good things, good things, good things. Right? There's also life is full of ups and downs. So sometimes silence is golden. Again, self-explanatory. May I have the video, please? Hi, this is Rohan from Times Now. I just wanted to ask you this. Uh, you're the captain of the Indian cricket team. You lead the Indian cricket fraternity at this point of time. Indian cricket has been hit by the biggest crisis since 2000, and yet we haven't heard from you. You skipped, uh, you didn't attend two uh, uh, IPL press conferences. Now you are here. You're not uh, willing to answer. Why is it that there is no voice from your side? Being the Indian captain, the leader of Indian cricket at this point of time, uh, why is this silent? Nice question. Please. Right? The match fixing scandal. He knew his heart was clean. Right? But what happened behind the scenes he did not know. But as a responsibility, whatever he spoke would have been quoted out of context, would have been held against him. As long as you knew his heart was clean, it was not a question he needed to answer, he did not choose to answer, though that guy was so aggressive in questioning. So if the question is not relevant, if it is not thing, it's not, doesn't mean. So what does it mean from a relevance perspective? Not every customer question needs to be immediately answered. In fact, Please avoid over-communication. That's one of the biggest faults in this WhatsApp, Twitter age. That every little bit of news you keep dumping on the customer. Okay? Next. Crises. We are very familiar with crises. So what's the lesson? Don't panic. Stay focused. Up your preparations. What's the situation? Again, another big stage. The World T20 quarterfinal. India versus Bangladesh. The situation, Bangladesh needed two runs to get, one ball to go. Ripe for panic. Right? Two runs to get, one ball to go. In fact, with one run, it could have been a tie. Right? What do you do? How do you focus? So I picked up a video which a fan shot. Okay? Can I have the video, please? I just want to point out, success is 1% luck, 99% preparation. Just see this. This is after the previous ball has been goal. See what is it? He removed his glove and he's practicing throwing down the stumps. He's setting the field. He hasn't spoken to the bowler at all on what he's going to bowl. No panic. Getting his arms free into motion. Practicing the throwing action, which is the most critical thing that he will need. Right? Setting the field. What? Then what he does? he has been practicing throwing the ball doesn't mean just because you have practiced you have to only throw the ball he saw that the runner up was slow in take off and he said with my speed I can beat his speed so the presence of mind the preparation comes yes if I need to throw I can throw but there is still a small chance that I will miss but if I run I will not miss and I can run faster than him right so from our life what is the lesson for this Yes, we have panic situations, layman brothers, demonetization, number of them I can list down, right? So what is it? The challenge is that the customers, at such times, short-termism, tendency to panic. So what's the advice for you all? 
Don't panic. Stay focused. Back the, all the hard work that you have done to get the customer to that stage of having invested in that thing. Right? The next one lesson: the virtue of selflessness. Okay. Again, can I have the video, please? Act when they ask why, and not when they ask why not. So just this is not MS, obviously. This is Virat speaking about MS. Can I have the video, please? As I said, we were doing the usual after the game, packing our bags and stuff, and there he comes and he, he says he wants to say something, and he just announces it, and we were all uh, taken aback um, by his decision, and you know because it was so sudden, we had no clue, uh, we never saw it coming. So uh, yeah, it was pretty uh, shocking at that point for all of us, and we didn't really know what to say to him because uh, it was a very emotional moment for him, and. Uh, um, you know, we as as youngsters who've been um, who've started under his captaincy, it was a very uh, strange moment for us also. Okay, so what is the thing behind here? MSD quit captaincy when least expected. Why? Because it was the right decision for the team, and Virat was ready for the job. So, what is the lesson? Focus on the main thing, which is the customer. So, think customer, act customer. Demand for the customer, right? Why I'm saying this is MCs may come to push their products, MCs may over promise, under deliver. You have to demand performance for the customer. And from your side, can you say no to foreign junkets? Right? Does it matter to the customer whether you take a foreign trip or not? Right? So that's the lesson I wanted to give you on this, right? The next video I'm not going to talk about, I just want you to see. I'm going to overrun by five minutes, uh, Prem. Hold on. Chahel. Dide wala gumega. Who is voice? Halka tez, halka aage. Ek khali. Oh, lot badiya. Check. Checks. MS, the captain giving advice, nothing wrong, right, to the bowler? What is the issue in this video? He is not the captain. This is what I call as going beyond the call of duty. And what here's Harsha Bogle's comment, which I like very much. MS Dhoni may not be the captain, but he is still the leader. What is the relevance for us? To create true customer delight, you have to go beyond the call of duty to offer advice to the customer on the best bank FDs, the term insurance, where... Sorry, whose battery is running low? Not mine. Right? You may need to offer advice on the best bank FDs, term insurance, where you may not earn huge commissions. Right? So this is the lesson that you have to take from this. Just because you're not captain, you don't get the reward of that, you don't stop contributing. Just because your customer needs a bank deposit, go and give that to him. Okay? So that's the one lesson from this. Next. Hone your skills, hone your skills, hone your skills. What is the video? 36-year-old, please play the video. 36-year-old MS beats 23-year-old Pandaya in a 100-meter dash. Right? So what's the lesson in this? Unless you constantly update your skills and knowledge, you will lose your customer to that smarter banker lurking around the corner. Okay? Of course, understand why MS. MS gave up the captaincy, still wanted to play for India. But the new captain's rules of the game was, pass the yo-yo test, I need you to be fit. So he doesn't say, oh, I'm captain, greatest captain of India, allow me to play for some more time. No! Get yourself up to speed with the latest. The same way you have to constantly update your knowledge. Right. Then lesson number 10, laughter is the best medicine. 
So again, may I have the uh, a video, please? How to duck a verbal bouncer? Somebody asked him about his retirement, right? MS, you've achieved almost everything in the game. Are you keen to continue on playing after this tournament? Sorry? Are you keen to continue playing on after this tournament? Come here. Let's have some fun. Please come here. <laughs> come, come, come. Seriously. You want me out there? Yeah, come. <laughs> okay. Hello, sir. You want me to retire? No, well, I okay. just want to ask you. Uh, I was hoping it was a Indian media guy, but you know, uh, because I can't really say if you have a brother or a son who can play for India is a sure. wicket keeper. Yes, true. Uh, do you think I'm unfit? No. Looking at me running? Very fast. You think I can survive till the 2019 World Cup? Um, <laughs> sure. Yes. Sure. Then you have answered the question. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, you are forgetting something. So how we use the humor to get the right answer? Effectively, the audience was told that I'm going to be fit and I'm going to play the 19 World Cup without coming from his mouth, right? <laughs> Next, so humor can be a powerful weapon to manage tricky situations with your customer, right? Finally, right, this is the final lesson. There's no video around it. This is the last slide. What are lessons from his life? First, adaptability. Again, relevant to an IFA. He started off as a power hitter, became a captain, gave up captaincy, still continued to be a mentor, continued to stay fit and rule too. So you got to adapt at different stage. The long head Dhoni is different from the balding Dhoni. But he's still relevant and valuable to the cricket team. The next one, we know he's not the best skilled person. He's not the best batsman in the team. He has wicket keeping skills he has learned over time. But what really has taken him to this success is that his attitude has always been more important than any talent you possess. That, my dear friends, is all from me. Thank you very, very much.